Darren, we'll get onto the game in a minute, but you brought up a personal milestone. The other day was a year since you took charge for the first time away at Dagenham. Just looking back on this year, how do you feel it's been? How, and where would you sort of like to be? I've really enjoyed it. Listen, there's been some tough moments. I, I, I get that. You know, every manager will say the same. Um, I feel like I've been backed by the fans, which is important to me. Not everyone, but, you know, I don't know. Off the top of my head, I'd probably say only Klopp at the minute has probably got 100% backing. But the rest of us, you know, we try and get that percentage as high as we can. Um, but, listen, criticism and you know, risk, reward and, you know, well done and that. It's all part and parcel of the game. I've been in it long enough, so I know how it is. I've enjoyed some of the really uh, high moments we've had and it's been tough when we've had a few low moments, but I, I, I anticipate that being, you know, for the next... I want to be a manager forever, so I anticipate that being the same throughout the remainder of my managerial career. But someone had said to me a year ago, you know, we'd be a year into your first year as a manager you know you've got a good set of players at a club that you're that is close to your heart mm. and we're on the on the on the fringes of the playoffs you know I wouldn't have been too disappointed if that's what someone had have offered me how much do you feel you've learned in this past year what have you what's your main thing you're going to take from this year um obviously when you're a player you know, ultimately, you're judged on what you do with the ball at your feet and how you conduct yourself as a professional. And then as a manager, you, there's, there, you, get, you, you get judged in, in many different ways. You know, your tactics, your style of play, your recruitment, you know, how you are as a man manager around the players. You know, so th there is, without a doubt, room for improvement in, in all aspects of management. You know, there's so much more to learn. I'm willing to learn and looking forward to learning. But what I take from it is there is obviously times in, in games where things that we train and we practice play out in games and they're very pleasing moments because then you feel like you're helping and you feel like you're having an impact and players trust you because they're taking on board your information. Um, and then obviously, you know, the, how you how I manage myself and how I manage the staff and the players when we've had a couple of moments where we've had back-to-back -back defeats or whatever. And, you know, you learn about yourself in them moments. Um, so it's all learning. It, it is, there's no doubt it's all learning. There's, some, there's, some, there's been some tough roads that we've had to go down in the last year. But on a whole, I've been really happy with with the job we're trying to do. I mentioned the other day in a tweet to the fans about it being, at the moment, small steps that will eventually become big strides, and that's how I believe. You know, recruitment going forward is going to be massive. I've only managed to sign the three players um, over over my period of time. Two of them, in, in my opinion, have been a huge success, and the third one with Alfie will become a huge success, um, given time and once he's back fully fit. But I enjoy working with the boys. I enjoy my job. It's I'm, I'm desperate to do well for myself and the club and the and the staff around me. And I want these players to progress and enjoy what the game can offer you. Um, so it's just been a real learning curve, but one that I've thoroughly enjoyed. And I know there's so much more to learn. We'll get on to the game uh, tomorrow now. I've seen two two sides going into it in decent form. It's set up to be a really entertaining match. Looking forward to it, looking forward to it, uh, you know, and, and, and the, the pleasing thing is, you know, like you say, both teams are in good form, it's local rivalry, there'll be an extra little bit of spice in the game as well as, as derbies always bring. Um, thankfully, they've got a wonderful pitch, you know, really, really good pitch, which will allow both teams to play some good football. Um, and that was the one, one thing that you know, I mentioned about the Boxing Day game. Obviously, our pitch is suffering a little bit at the minute. And if the game had gone ahead, it might not have been too easy on the eye. Um, it could have been a, a bit of a scrappy affair because of the pitch. But, you know, 
what tomorrow will, will will give is both teams an opportunity to play on a good surface and two teams in good form. But you know we are we we we're, we're happy and comfortable with where we are at the minute. And as I've stated, it's about staying there now. We obviously didn't win our game against all the shot, but it was enough to be pleased about, you know, in particular defensively and, and with our clean sheet and that. Um, but on top of that, going forward, we need to get back to being clinical when we get our chances in front of goal. A player in good form, Josh Walker, unfortunately picked up a bit of a knock in the last game. He's, he's going to be a miss, He will be a miss, but, you know, sometimes you can you, you get niggles in games and, and you can put a strap in round it or you can take some tablets and, and get on with it but unfortunately when you get head injuries there's concussion rules we've had it recently with Efron haven't we and and Josh himself has taken a couple of blows on his head of late um, so it, it's just not worth the risk I mean unless he wakes up tomorrow morning and tells me otherwise um, that he, he's really good he's not in a, he, he's not he's not fully right today so the, the chances are he'll miss out but when the door shuts for one, it always opens for another, doesn't it? No positive. We've been able to get Jack Barr and back in and around the squad. He's been in good form for Dorking. You must be happy to get him back with as well. Yeah, he's done brilliant. Um, I know he's been chomping at the bit to to get out on loan and play some football. Constantly knocking on my door. You know, he's frustrated at not getting an opportunity here. But we had conversations as to as to why he didn't get his opportunity with us. Um, but credit to him I love someone who wants to play so he was he was constantly badgering me about getting out on loan which I like in someone I'd rather that than someone who just quite happy comes in Monday to Friday with with no appetite for Saturday afternoon um, and, and Jack's come in several times he's gone out on loan you know got him a good loan deal that he's obviously done very well in he's got nine goals in 13 I believe so his fitness will be in a good place He's got his eye in, back in front of the goal. Um, he's in good form. So he comes back and, uh, you know, with, with obviously maybe one door closing, and another one opens and could be a real opportunity for him to come and play his part for us now going forward. It's finally an obvious one. Just how important is it that we start the new year with a big win? Listen, it, it is. And I understand all the bragging rights and everything that goes with derbies. I, I get it. Um, but when I look at the bigger picture, it's three points. It's it will potentially continue a, a, a good uh, run of games that we've been in of late. I think we we went undefeated in December, didn't we? So, you know, long may that continue. We've got a second half of the season that you know we can kickstart it with a good performance tomorrow, and three points, which will set us up for a big second half of the season, big push. We've got some big players that are are close to coming back to us now, which will just make us stronger. Um, but one game at a time, and a, a big game it is, there's no doubt that it is a big game. But one game at a time, and let's just go there and try and get a win that will see us start the year well.